I think you're going to need one more sound bit. Yeah, go on. Beep. <laughs> so now you can use that every time you hear this. <laughs> Actually, we're, we're still totally stealing that. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be our, like, swear. Yeah, you beep. can even use my little no. face and put it right where you go. <laughs> beep. Good morning. Let's check out this morning's view. Pretty sweet. I'm just going to kind of take you through the boat and show you what a morning on SV Curiosity looks like. Nick and I have been just chilling out in the cockpit, drinking our coffees, and Nikki is slaving away yes, in the galley. Okay. <laughs> making something called breakfast tacos, which she had to explain to me. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, tacos are in every single meal in Texas. Yeah, you have not spent enough time in Texas yet. We haven't spent any time in Texas. Okay, well that would be why, yeah. Right. Breakfast burritos, yep. breakfast tacos, yep. flour tortillas and salsa served with pretty much every meal. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. Unless we're having spaghetti. <laughs> And then, you know, you get marinara instead of, uh, instead of salsa, <laughs> just practically the same thing, minus some jalapeno. But if you give them a chance, they'll put that in there too. Right. So we had to, we were instructed to actually bring you guys like corn flour because <laughs> they were like, well, okay, well, it was we'll, like an we'll emergency, a, a mule run. What do you need? And I'm like, masa, black beans. And I almost asked you to bring salsa, but I was like, no, they're doing carry-ons. So no, we, okay. we had like five kilos of space to bring you salsa. Like we could have bought avocados and like <laughs> guacamole seasoning. Yep. Exactly. So what are you doing for us, Nikki? I'm sorry. What are you making for us? Breakfast tacos. Okay. It's um, eggs, cheese, tortilla, onion, garlic, salsa, jalapenos. That's what we're having this morning. Nice. We need to kind of like find Up more our Texans game. in our life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and Jason's uh, kind of ignoring everyone. He's in full work. Oh, you can hear us. Yeah, oh, we've been talking about it for hours as well. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, that's what a real day looks mm -hmm. like on Curiosity. That's where most of our time is spent, honestly, behind a computer, and not the um, the lovely one to two days a week where we're actually out exploring, which is what you usually see. Yeah. Well, when Teresa turns turn the camera off, I'm going to tell you a story. Wait, what? Well, I told you the story but 10 minutes ago, but we can't put it on camera where I sort of cut it all out. Oh, well, now everyone's going to be like, you got to tell us a story. Yeah, right? That feels like an insight or something, and now yeah. you're leaving them out. It's just rude. Okay, you're just going to have to edit the shit. <laughs> <laughs> we shall see. So basically, we had a comment, like, last night, and I'm like... Beep, beep. <laughs> from one of our joint oh, right, yeah. followers, and he's like... Can you tell at the winds to start uploading in 1080 because like it's 2019 and I'm like Nikki would you like to explain the internet situation here? Oh you know I've complained about it enough that we actually get comments about stop complaining about the internet right. uh, but that is the thing so internet is not prevalent everywhere around the world and it's not always amazing connection so if we tried to upload in 1080 number one we don't have the bandwidth for it and number two, it would cost us a freaking fortune. Mm -hmm. So we have to upload in 720. It's the only way we can actually get the videos out. If you recall, when we were in the Marquesas, we tried uploading even in like 420, and it took four days to get what? the videos uploaded. So yes, it is very slow in a lot of these areas, if existent at all. So yeah, mm. we do what we can. Yep. So, so it's 720. Correction, 480. 
Four eighty. Four eighty. Sorry. See, this four twenty. Right. Don't do the editing. Four twenty is this. <laughs> <laughs> so, for any uh, satellite broadband providers, you can provide high-speed broadband for zero cost and zero commitment. Please contact the people. <laughs> put them on those massive domes on so that they can broadband live stream anywhere they want. That's right. Exactly. Wouldn't that be nice? All yeah. Right. And go ahead and tell people what you paid for your internet while you're here. That's okay. So basically, mm -hmm. look. This is what we've always said. Like. Uh, America has like probably some of the best, most stable internet in the world. We paid 60 US bucks for two gigabyte of 3G data. Yeah. And that will hopefully last us a week for social media. Mm -hmm. Now, just to put this in context, because we obviously we do all this as well. For us, we use, um, just to go into the nerdy Beep. about the software we use, we use uh, Final Cut Pro, which is the, the software package. We use a special extra piece of software that we paid a lot of money for to compress the film files even more. So for us to upload a 12 minute video in 1080, which is super compressed, is about between one and a half and two gigs of data. Now that to us, so that's a 50 buck, that for us to do that, we could do it once, it'd be 50 bucks to upload one video, which everyone's like, well, you make enough money, blah, blah, blah. But the problem is that everything is so sketchy. We're also kind of tied to, uh, you know, as we all are living on boats, like, trying to mi minimize your electric you know use your use of electricity mm. so the problem is if you're taking four days to upload and you need your computer running for four days you know it, you kind of sit in there and I'm sure we've all been there like in the old days when like you had a sketchy internet connection you're like oh don't drop out don't drop out don't drop out like, I've got a number of times I've got up at mm -hmm. three in the morning but is it still working is it still working you know we still got power yeah you know and I, meanwhile like, our inverters on for like days on end and, and so basically you know I, and this is not bitching, it is bitching, but I bitch about stuff. I'm not as kind of like beautiful and kind of well preserved and like, you know, polite as these good people. But really, you know, one of the, it's not a problem. One thing that you have to appreciate when you are kind of living remotely is that some of the modern luxuries that we just really take for granted, like taco flour and <laughs> like, like it, not even high speed internet, like 1996 internet. internet. Yeah. It's just, it just, it doesn't exist. And you go suck it up cupcake because 20 years ago, there would have been no internet here. Mm, and we'd all. all, yeah, exactly. And we'd have had to go and find the pay phone in the post office to kind of phone home. Yeah. Here ended the lecture for at least 10 minutes, but I've had two coffees, so I'm gonna start again and that'll be another episode. So tune in for when I start ranting about owls, cats, <laughs> or anything else that pops into my head short notice, goodbye. Yeah, we're at six minutes 30 now. And I think you started <laughs> ranting at maybe two minutes. Well, I think you're gonna need one more sound bit? Yeah, go on. Beep! <laughs> so now you can use that every time he hears this. <laughs> Actually, we're still totally stealing that. Yeah, that's gonna be our, like, swear. Yeah, you beep. can even use my little no. face and put it right where you go. <laughs> beep! That is gonna happen. Nick, you need to say something with swear words. Like, no, I'm not going to, because the thing is, right, this is... He already said that! Did you not catch all of us? No, 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 you're, you're, you've just misheard. It's too much comment. Uh, the, 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 the thing about the cussing is, firstly, as we've said, YouTube... Uh oh, he's in ranting. No, no, YouTube do, like, they, they kind of demonetize everything now. It's like, I've shown my left nipple, and I'm a bloke, and they're like, sorry, you can have no money for this, with your nipples up. But secondly, now that I've started editing, I know how much extra work, like, beeping stuff out is it's like cut find the thing beep it out and it's like another three minutes per cuss word so i'm adding three minutes to every second word yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we are going sailing. Are we going to be putting the sails up actually? I think so. Cool. We are going sailing and we are going to an anchorage on the other side of the island. Cooks Bay. Cooks Bay, I'm being told. And uh, well, Nikki or Jason, what is there exactly? It's famous because Captain Cook did not anchor there. <laughs> there you go. I don't know why they call it Cook's Bay. He anchored in the next bay, but they call that one Cook's Bay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I guess I don't know. There you go. History. It's awesome. Yep. Yeah. And what's there? That's so pizza place well, and Wi-Fi. There's pizza and Wi-Fi. There's also just an absolutely stunning view. Yeah. It okay. is mind-blowingly gorgeous. And there will be some snorkeling and other cruisers and I don't know. Just we'll find out. Yeah. Cool. I hear it's where Teresa gets drunk and naked. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert! <laughs> 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 
All right, Nikki has very kindly agreed to let me loose with their helming station, and so I'm going to be getting us out of this anchorage. Isn't that right, Nikki? Yeah, please don't wreck my boat. Yeah, I'll try my very best not to. Nick, you can turn around and look the other way. I'm not allowed to do anything. I'm not allowed to film, I'm not allowed to talk, I'm not allowed to... <laughs> just, just sit in the corner and then cross me. Nick's going to fly the drone, aren't you, darling? Oh, you want no, to do that as well? No, no, no. I'm in here and you're... You're drone master and witty commentary. That's your job. Yeah. Well, right now, you're failing miserably at both. <laughs> <laughs> Up your game, boy. Smoking room. It's like I'm, I'm like I'm, I'm like a scared rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Oh, did I push the cord? You did it. Oh, he didn't record. No, I did. I just want to get Teresa a little bit of the old heart scare as well. <laughs> motoring into about 15 knots of wind and uh, we've got probably three to four foot seas and I hope you can hear me by the way and this is a really interesting comparison of how you know this boat feels and performs in these kinds of conditions which isn't particularly comfortable but fine compared to how our boat would, would uh, feel and perform and uh, yeah, I have to say, like, this is definitely on par with uh, the speed that we would be getting, with the kind of comfort underway that we would have, you know, like, there's no getting away around motoring into 15 knots and a little bit of swell. Like, it's just never going to be particularly pleasant, no matter what kind of um, boat you're on. But nonetheless, this feels very, very stable. Um, you know, you'll notice that I'm not wearing a life jacket. Um, and honestly, I, I don't feel the least bit like I need to. I feel totally safe. This boat is so, so stable. Um, it's, it you know, feels very, very safe, especially in the cockpit. Um, you know, you are really well protected from everything around you. You've got kind of a barrier between you and the sea. Um, in the uh, in the kind of cockpit tent that uh, Nick and Jason have, um, and yeah, the the whole kind of cockpit is designed to enclose you. Uh, so that is a really great safety feature, which, as you know, is something that's important to us. And yeah, here I am sitting on the dolphin seat, and it's a bit of a ride, but I'm holding on, and I feel safe. And Nick uh, and Jason are keeping an eye on me, and I'm only about I don't know, like a kilometer to land. So even if I fell overboard, I'm sure I'd be fine. I dare you dig a little deeper. It makes you feel a little stronger. Who knows what you may find? You'll see in your own time. 
It might just take a little longer It all goes by so slowly Ooh, you waited your whole life This is just spectacular A little bit more stressful <laughs> than going through the carts, but Nikki's a good teacher. Very calming influence, Nikki. Thank you. <laughs> Not like what I'm used to. Bless Nick. So why is it a little more stressful? I don't know, just getting used to how the boat maneuvers in this way, like and I'm not used to having such a big boat, so like when you're looking at anchoring next to another boat, you don't know how far back you're gonna drop, you don't know how to back up. Um, and if you're going forward and you run out of depth, then like how do I get out of that situation? Oh yeah, I can just, I've got two engines, they're quite powerful, I can just go, ah! <laughs> so, no. Easy, easy once you've done it, you know? Easy once you kind of get a feel for it. It's fairly warm up there. I probably I've been out I, yesterday. I was like red as a tomato from some spurious trip out, and I've just been out there for five minutes without a hat on. Yeah. So I probably look like kind of like super blood pressure boy this evening. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Can we turn off the engines? So wait, hang on, just before we turn off the engines, oh, the turn engines off, and then okay. I want to have a quick chat to camera. A debrief. A debrief. I, 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 uh, Bad captain didn't uh, make any captain's notes. Oh. Bad captain. So your first time kind of using a twin yeah. engines, twin Morse controls. Super easy. Super easy? <laughs> Say it again. Say it again. <laughs> <laughs> so your first time, I'm tit sweat. Um, so your first time using a dual Morse control, how was it? It was good. Was it good? <laughs> did, you, did you enjoy the feel of one in your feet, one in each hand? I actually did. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It felt like I had a lot more control over the boat yeah. than without both examples. I noticed you managed to kind of spin it on itself like a tank. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty... So easy. And intuitive, yeah? So it's supposed to be really used the Morse control like that. Yeah, that's right. And it just seemed to make perfect sense. The boat like... responded. Pretty much how I expected yeah, yeah. it to. So Jason's like, do you, you know, you know as, as he said, he's just, he's just trying to test you, like reverse yeah. it. And it's so, I mean, you're obviously you're kind of like super competent using one engine, but now you've kind of like, you didn't, you're like, okay, I'll do this. Yeah, yeah, it just seems. Yeah, it interesting. It's not difficult. No, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not playing kind of like putting aspersions on your ability to kind of work these things out, but, you know, you just kind of like. It's a comparative exercise. Yeah, yeah, it is comparative exercise. It, yeah. Like normally if I said to you, okay, you know, go forward, put a bit of bow thruster on there, get some prop walk to kind of spin that round. You'd be like, uh, you have to think about it. Yeah. This, you don't have to think about it. So, I mean, we have a lot of maneuverability in our monohull. Not like we, this. No, not like this at all. Yeah. So yeah, mooring. So it's a tick in the box for close quarter boat handling in light winds. Yes. Uh, saying light winds yes. because if you get caught in a blow with this, that's it's right. so light sided. That's a different You've got story. different kettle of problems to sort out. Kettle but of problems? A kettle of problems, that's called missing your, mixing your metaphors. <laughs> Kettle of fish, bag of problems, two, squir two squirrels and a cat. Oh, no. <laughs> and see. Exit, yeah, exit stage left. That's right. <laughs> you can see why I'm so. Oh, I am such a Beep. show. When it comes to Get this man some ice cream. I'm an artiste, don't you know? <laughs> So join us next week as we do some of the most amazing snorkeling we have ever done. And the party carries on as we continue to laugh our way around the South Pacific. 